Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connections Standalone. RAM Connections Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this series of videos, we will be focusing our attention on the steel connection workflow for designing gusset connections for a variety of different vertical bracing situations. The different vertical brace joints that we have available in RAM Connection Standalone include the column beam brace joint, the vertical X brace joint, a chevron brace, and also a column base with a gusset connection. Each of these different joints have different column, beam, and brace sections that are permitted to be used in that connection type, and several of these particular joints can also support seismic provisions. We will now turn our attention to the RAM Connection Standalone application, where as you can see, we've already modeled several different types of joints that will require gusset connections. For this particular video, we're going to be focusing on joint number four. This is a column base joint. To start the connection design process, select the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, followed by the assign icon. In the connection assignment dialog, you're gonna notice that the filter is already set up for the type of joint you had selected when activating the assign button. Here you can see that the column base plate option has been selected and there is a gusset base plate option. Now it is important to note that all base plates, including gusset base plates, are considered smart connections within RAM connection standalone. After selecting the gusset base plate, I will click on the assign button and RAM Connection will design the gusset base plate. Now in the joint selection area, I will now be able to see the status of my connection design. Here you can see that my interaction ratio is reported and it is in green indicating that I passed all code checks without producing any errors or warnings. If you would like to modify any of your base plate design parameters, you can go to the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Edit icon. Here I'm going to select the Gusset Detailing option. Now within the Ribbon Toolbar, I should also be able to see the status of this gusset connection design. Here again, you can see that it is in green indicating I have passed all code checks. Now once within the connection pad, I may decide that I still want to modify or customize my connection detailing. So let's go ahead and scroll down until we find our base plate information. Here you can see I can customize my base plate information including the size of my base plate and the material properties. I can customize my anchor information as well. In addition to that, I can also customize this gusset information. Now gussets are reported based on their interfaces. Here you can see that I have a right brace gusset. I can see the material properties and the thickness of this gusset. And I can customize the connection from the gusset to the column, the gusset to the base plate, or the gusset to the bracing member. For this exercise, I'm gonna take a look at the gusset to brace connection. Here, I should be able to see all the information that is currently assigned and make customizations as needed. Now, what I'm noticing here is that the default for the connection type for the gusset to the brace is a bolted connection. Now, what I wanna do for this particular exercise is take a look to see if a welded option might work. So I went ahead and changed to a welded option and you could see basically what happened was that little plate was eliminated that went through the brace and was bolted to the gusset connection. 
Now what I'm also going to notice though is that the interaction ratio and status of the connection design will be automatically updated anytime you make changes in the connection pad. Now I can see that once I made that change from a bolted to a welded connection, that my interaction ratio is now in yellow, which does indicate a warning in the connection design. To get more information regarding where that warning was produced, I can take a look at the steel connection report by clicking on the results icon. Within the steel connection report, I'm looking for basically anything that says warning. And I found it. The gussets don't fit on the plate. Okay, so let's go ahead and close out of here. And yeah, I could see the gussets actually extending past the base plate a bit. If you wanna see that a little bit clearer, it might be nice to take a look at the DXF view. So basically getting a warning and I wanna pull this base plate out a bit. So to rectify this warning, I'm gonna go up and take a look at my base plate information. And here I can see both my longitudinal and transversal dimensions. In addition to that, if I go up a little bit higher, I'm gonna be able to see this optimization criteria. Now some connection types, including base plates, do have optimization criteria available. This basically means that when you make changes to your connection design, you can ask the program to go ahead and re-optimize considering the information you just specified. So instead of trying to adjust the base plate dimension manually, I'm gonna go ahead and try that process first. To do that, I'm gonna to go to my ribbon toolbar and click on this optimize icon. Here you can see you can select any type of optimization criteria you wanna specify for the program. Now once I do that, the program has automatically adjusted my base plate dimensions to achieve a satisfactory connection design. Now you can see that my interaction ratio is 1.0 and it is in green, meaning that it did pass all code check requirements. At this point, let's go ahead and save the changes I made to this connection and we will close out of the connection pad. Now I should be able to see that my interaction ratio has been updated and the detailing of this connection has been updated in the thumbnail view. At this point, this concludes the process for designing a gusset base plate in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.